Presentation of a laparoscopic rectosigmoidectomy with transvaginal natural orifice specimen extraction for intestinal endometriosis. A 38-year-old female patient whose main complaints were dysmenorrhea, heavy menstrual bleeding, dyspareunia, preoperatory nuclear magnetic resonance showed irregular thickening of the left ulter uterosacral ligament, as well as rectosigmoid adhesions to the uterus and left ovary. A surgical approach was chosen to treat endometriosis. The main steps are port placement, identify endometriotic lesions, total hysterectomy with transvaginal extraction, left paracolic gutter mobilization, followed by splenic flexure partial mobilization, medial and posterior rectosigmoid dissection, transvaginal extraction of the intestinal segment, anastomosis, intraoperative air leak test, and closure. Here is our usual port placement for intestinal endometriosis. The patient was placed in a slight Trendelenburg in the dorsal decubitus position. First, the surgeon analyzed and identified fibrotic adhesions in the abdominal cavity, secondary to the endometriosis. As shown in the video, there are some anatomical changes typical of endometriosis, such as ovaries medially retracted and torus uterinus adhered to the rectum. These conditions can make the surgery a difficult one requiring careful dissection of the structures and precise movements and without damaging the pelvic autonomic nerves. The left ureta was anatomically identified by laparoscopic vision. Then, ureteralysis was performed to avoid injuries during the procedure. Before accessing the rectovaginal septum, left Adnextoctomy was performed. Pelvic anatomic nerves were identified in order to preserve urinary, evacuatory, and sexual functions. Rectovaginal septum is dissected in order to separate the structures for resection. The visualization of the rectum, uterus, ligaments, and rectovaginal space. The right ureta was also identified and carefully separated, followed by the pelvic nerves.
The uterine manipulator facilitates vaginal wall incision. Finalization of the hysterectomy with transvaginal removal of the specimen. Insertion of the vaginal plug for maintenance of the pneumomeritoneum during the surgery. For resection of intestinal lesions, the mobilization of the left paracolic gutter was performed, followed by partial mobilization of the splenic fixture. Dissection of the rectum was then performed with the posterior stapling of the segment. Two stapler firings using a purple linear stapler, 60 mm, were necessary to execute the resection. The intestinal segment was externalized through the vaginal vault. The intestinal segment with endometriotic lesions were, was identified and resected. The purse string suture of the proximal limb with polypropylene 2.0 was carried out and the anvil of the circular stapler, number 28, was positioned. The surgeon then sutures the vaginal vault with polyglactin 2.0. After transanal passage of the circular stapler, the colorectal anastomosis was performed 5 cm from the anal verge. Intraoperative examination of the donuts for completeness was performed and the air leak test executed by clamping the proximal colon. This was shown to be negative. They were the final incisions. Thank you.